Manny Viveros, uh, Manny, about a week ago, we were talking with Paul Cotter and said, hey, you're putting up points. And he says, yeah, but I'd like to start scoring some more. Uh, he did so tonight, and he was scoring goals, impactful goals that you guys needed at times when you needed them. How important was that for him? No, I think for anybody, uh, especially with, with uh, Paul's uh, skill set, um, you know, he's a very skilled player. And, uh, you know, anytime you're able to put the puck in the back of the net, you're going to obviously build confidence. So it's been a while for him, though, but I was very happy the way that, uh, you know, the way he scored the goals tonight. The, the, the first goal was, a, you know, an incredible shot uh, and a hard shot. And then the second goal, um, that more than anything, uh, you know, exemplifies the type of player Paul is. If he's really good and really effective, it goes to the net. And he drove, drove to the net like that and put the puck in the net. So that's, that's a good, uh, you know, kind of a reminder of how he needs to play every single night. And if he does that, he's going to, you know, continue to score. You guys had to battle back a couple of times tonight, but it was never more than a one-goal deficit. How important was it that you guys were able to, to answer punch for punch? Well, we certainly weren't pleased with the last game that we played at home here on last Saturday night here. So we wanted to get out and you know try to push the pace as much as possible against these guys. And uh, you know they came out, they played really well for us. So we actually probably didn't get off to you know obviously a great start, but it took us a while to get going. But, but our message always is stay with our game, continue to keep playing the way we're supposed to be playing, and uh, you know good things will happen. And I was very happy that we, we we stuck with it. We didn't get frustrated. We kept working and working and did the right things. And you know at the end of the day, we were able to come up the top. Daniil Miramano has been putting up points all year long. The Pavel Dorofia goal seemed like one where Daniel got a little creative. He jumped into his space. How imaginative is he when he has the puck on his stick? A lot of that, Brian, is that you, you, that's a lot of that hockey and stick you can't teach. And what Daniel has is he knows or he has that innate ability just to jump into those areas and stuff like that, too. And that's a special talent that he has, which, which comes natural. And uh, certainly, uh, you know, when he's on the ice and he's got some free ice, um, he's going to make things happen. And, uh, you know, we're, you know, scored a timely goal for us, obviously, a real, a real big goal at that time. And, uh, you know, whenever he's He's got, he's got his legs and he's jumped like that. He's very effective. The Paul Cotter goal, the, the Pavel Dorofiev goal, both goals that were off of sustained offensive zone pressure. Is that something you guys have done a better job of, of, of late when, when you're going well, of lengthy offensive zone shifts, but, but cashing in on them? Well, that's something uh, in particular this week we really concentrated on as far as uh, when we're in the old zone, we didn't want to be one and done. We wanted to make sure that if we had, uh, you know, pucks towards the net, they were going to retrieve those pucks and reattack again too. So, um, you know, we want to get back to, you know, anytime there's anything loose that so we're jumping on it right away and reattack as soon as possible. And, and that's a mindset to have. And that's something that, uh, you know, when we're effective and we've proven that this year against teams, if we're, if we're on our toes and we're not sitting back, we're very effective. And uh, tonight, uh, certainly it paid off. Caden Korzak made his NHL debut last night. I, I would imagine it might be tough to go from that to going right back into game action in a different setting the very next night. How how was he uh, jumping right back into HSK duty? No, it certainly it certainly is. You know, obviously you're playing in front of uh, 18,000 uh, fans in the National Hockey in your first game, but a really good learning lesson for him too. That uh, you know that's part of being a pro, and you know, that may happen over the next couple of years for him till he you know plays in the National Hockey League for for uh, full time. So for him, that was a really good uh, lesson to learn as far as you know th that's going to happen at times, and it's happened quite a few times to our players. And really the way uh, really happy the way he responding and I thought he was very solid tonight too.